Today we have a fun video for you guys that is all about summer beach essentials. So I don't know about you guys, but you know, especially this summer with everything that's going on, all the craziness around us, there is no place I would rather be to relax and just, you know, enjoy nature than the beach. So I plan on spending as much time as possible at the beach. So whether you are going on a beach vacation or you live near a local beach, or even if you're just going to hit up your local pool, these items are things that you are really going to want to have to get you through the summer. Yeah, and Kelly and I, we actually both have taken our separate trips to the beach and we were just kind of talking about like, what a nice getaway it really was and Absolutely. a place to be able to kind of just forget the craziness that we are living in right now. So um, we also just recently did a bathing suit video. So I'll be sure to link that one down in the description box below for you guys. So in case you guys are also looking for some good bathing suits for this summer. Um, but if you guys are new to us, I'm Christina. This is my best friend, Kelly. If you haven't already, definitely consider subscribing so you guys don't miss out. We release videos every Monday and Thursday night at 7 p.m. And if you guys are looking for some extra inspiration, like outfit of the days, you can also follow us on Instagram at Mommy's Makeup Moscato. So one of the main things that you're going to need to have your beach essentials after you get your swimsuit, which check out that video if you haven't found your swimsuit yet, but you're going to need a great beach bag. So I recently picked this one up from Amazon and I love it. This is such a great beach bag. First of all, I feel like the size is perfect. You know, not too big, but not too little. Big enough to fit everything that you really need. I love this, um, this look of like the straw wicker style bag. I just think it's so pretty and feminine for summer. This one has these pretty little off-white tassels and these leather handles, which I think are great. And here's the best part about this bag. When you open it up, you have this great lining inside of it, but this actually snaps off, you can take out the lining and you can wash it, which I thought was just such a great feature for a beach bag because of course when you're throwing stuff in there you've got sunscreen that's getting all over oil you've got the sand so now you can just wash this in your washing machine when you're at home it has um, two zipper closures it has a little pocket for like your sunglasses or your keys then you've got two more additional pockets here so it's just the perfect summer bag you could definitely fit in here you know your towel your sunscreen your sunglasses all of your essentials and it's comfortable on the shoulder and just oh so cute and stylish and I feel like you could even use this it could even double as you know just a nice shopping tote for the summer with your little sundresses or your denim shorts so this is just a great beach bag I will link it for you guys if you want to check it out I just absolutely love it and it's gonna hold all of these essentials that we are about to share with you guys if you guys are anything like me then you will find yourself bringing pretty much everything in the kitchen sink when you guys are going to the beach and one of the downfalls of bringing everything is that you can also find that it's so difficult you are searching through your bag and not able to find any of the important things that you need and so I wanted to share this great little um, little mini bag that you can put inside of your um, summer beach bag and this one is um, just a cute little design. It's uh, for $14, it says beach survival kit. So this is a great little um, piece to have. You can put your keys inside of it, your sunglasses inside of it. The other great thing is, is that it's actually waterproof. So you can even put your phone inside of it. Um, yeah, and so this one is just um, a great little piece to help to keep you organized. This one retails for $13.99 and definitely a must have if you are like me and bringing just a ton of stuff to the beach with you. So another thing that I sometimes have trouble finding um, during the summertime for my beach trips is a good cover up. And for me, I'm a little picky about this. I've had some trouble finding ones that I really love. Part of the reason is that I find a lot of them are made in a way that they're either like a thick tank top style or they cut, you know, like a cap sleeve, which I have broader shoulders and a little bit like thicker arms. And for me, those kind of cuts just are not flattering at all. So I'm very particular on what I look for in a swim cover up. And I recently stumbled on this one. It is under $35. 
and I absolutely love it. I'm going to insert some footage. I wore this recently on my trip to Isla Mirada for the weekend, and I'm going to tell you this is just such a great cover-up. I love this like gauzy, lightweight fabric. It's perfect for the hot, you know, beach weather, especially here in Florida. Um, it also has this cute little like detail at the top with these little tassels and the tie. It has this little hoodie, which you know, not something that I typically find myself using at the beach, but you could if you wanted to throw that on. It's just a cute little, you know, um, addition to this. And what I love about this is that it's loose fitting and flowy, but not oversized. So a lot of times you'll find these beach cover-ups, they'll be so oversized and so long that you kind of get lost in them and they can be a little bit unflattering to the body, especially when you are petite like me. I'm 5'3", so something that's very long and very loose is going to, you know, not be the most flattering on my frame. This one is longer than, you know, um, a shirt, but not super long. So it's just maybe like around mid-thigh and the back is a little bit longer, so it covers everything that you wanna cover so that you're comfortable walking around in this, but it also is, you know, a little bit sexier, a little bit flattering to the body. It doesn't just look like you're wearing, you know, a big old frumpy t-shirt. So I love it, and at under $35, I thought this was a great find. So I will link this one for you guys if you're looking for an attractive swim cover-up, something that you can just throw on over your bathing suit, or even this would even be cute with a pair of denim shorts kind of tucked in a little bit in front. It's just such a great find. A definite must have when you are going to the beach is having a good pair of sunglasses. And this is one that I picked up from Loft. I really just love, love, love these glasses. So they are a an aviator style, which I think is very flattering on most face shapes. Um, they don't have an oversized aviator, uh, you know, shape to them where they are hanging way down low on your cheek. They're definitely much more of a traditional aviator style. They also have this great uh, detail where the frame is actually hidden on the inside, so you don't see any of the framework on the outside. I'm not sure if it's called rimless or frameless. Leave a comment down below. Not sure what that's called. But anyways, I love these um, like really soft blush colors. I think that a lot of times we are going to the beach, we're not wearing makeup, and so being able to add just some of those soft little blush pinks I think is so flattering um, on the skin. These ones I actually picked up for $10. So if you're anything like me, you're also probably someone who frequently loses their sunglasses. Um, these ones um, are going quick. I hate to tell you they are very, very low on stock, but I will definitely link these ones down below um, and I'll also link a couple of other ones that are very, very similar to these ones and also within the same price range because yeah, having cute glasses at the beach is definitely a must. So the next thing that is really essential for me when I'm going to the beach is a great beach hat for a couple of reasons. One of them being I've actually had skin cancer on my face twice, so it's really important for me to keep my face shielded from the sun as much as possible. And secondly, because once I get my hair wet in the ocean, there's just nothing good I can do with my hair after that. I just have, you know, one of those haircuts that like, it's just not gonna be pretty. So a beach hat is really essential and I really, really appreciate them on vacation when, you know, maybe you've been to the beach all day, you come home, you shower a little bit, but you don't feel like doing the whole blow drying and everything. It's great to be able to just pull your hair back, maybe in a low ponytail, and throw on a great beach hat. So this one has been a lifesaver for me. I used it all the weekend that I just had in Isla Mirada. I use this hat a lot. I will insert some pictures to show you guys. This one is under $25. It's a straw beach fedora. It comes in a whole variety of different colors with different colored bands. This was, you know, a very neutral one that I picked up and I just absolutely love it. Apparently it even has a UPF of 50, which I did not realize when I purchased it, but makes me love it even more. And I feel like this is just such a great thing to bring with you when you're on any kind of beach trip or 
or just a day at the beach. It really helps to protect your face from those harsh sun rays and really just to kind of keep you looking, you know, stylish and everything even after you have been destroyed in the humidity or in the pool or the or the ocean. It's a great way to just, you know, pull your hair back and still look very like sleek and put together. Throw on some big sunglasses that Christina shared and you are good to go. You can even head out to dinner afterwards. So this is a great one. Definitely check this one out if you're looking for a great beach hat. Another must have beach essential is a good pair of flip flops. Ones that aren't going to get ruined by the elements of the sand and the sun and the salt water. And these ones are by Roxy, so they're super cute. They actually are in this tan color. They have this great like little detail um, edging flower work on the bottom just to make sure you're getting like a good grip so you're not, you know, slipping or anything like that. Um, one of the best things about this particular sandal that I really love are the straps. So they're nice and soft. They're not, you know, um, hard against the foot. You won't have to have any sort of like chafing in between, you know, your toes. It's a really nice soft material. Um, and it comes in this really pretty tan color. Obviously it's, you know, great and flattering for the leg. It'll just, you know, really help to elongate your your legs and it is a nice neutral color so it really will go with everything and yeah just a comfortable pair of flip flops these ones retail for $26 so now we have some products that we want to share with you guys. We've covered you with all these, you know, great fashion pieces, your beach bag, you've got all the essentials. Now some beauty products that you're going to want for your beach days. So this is something that I use before going to the beach when I'm getting ready for the beach. And this is my favorite sunless tanner. So this is the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze. I get the shade medium. I have talked about this countless times on our channel. This is definitely my go-to self tanner. It is a mist, um, a spray. It's very easy to use and I use it with a self tanning mitt, which I'll actually link for you guys, which makes it so easy. You just mist it on your body, rub it in with that tanning mitt to avoid getting any orange palms or anything like that. And this makes me feel much more confident for those beach days by giving me a nice even glow, um, you know, a little of a bronzy shade for those of you who are more fair skinned it works really well and since I'm someone who does not actually get real tans because I have suffered from skin cancer and I really don't want you know that aging in my skin and risking more skin cancer this is my you know go to this is what I'm using so one or two nights before going to the beach I use this all over the body and it just works to give me a very pretty and healthy glow so this is I believe like under $12 a can it lasts a pretty good amount of time I usually pick these up in bulk because I use them all summer long you know if I'm just wearing shorts I'll do sometimes just my legs if I'm wearing a bathing suit I'll do my full body you can use it on your face as well and it is an excellent product gives really nice color without turning you orange so I definitely recommend this one during the summer but especially Especially before I go to the beach, I'm always making sure that I am exfoliating my body so that that way all of the different products that I'm putting on my skin and all of the elements um, from the outside are really just kind of being protected uh, from the sunscreen and moisturized and hydrated. So one product that I came across and really, really love, this is actually my second bottle of it. It's the Ulta Beauty Detoxifying Himalayan Salt Body Scrub. Um, and the reason why I like it so much is because a lot of other body scrubs, they tend to leave your body feeling a bit oily and having kind of this greasy residue on it. However, with this one, it has um, a sweet almond oil and shea butter inside of it, so it definitely moisturizes um, and hydrates the, the skin and leaves it very like soft but it doesn't give you that greasy feeling. So this is a product that I, you know, use inside of the shower, um, either the day before or the morning before. Um, just put it onto my skin and afterwards my skin feels very soft, very smooth. I know that whatever sunscreen and, and things that I'm gonna be putting on top of it are gonna be able to really soak into my skin and help to protect me from the elements. So yeah, definitely a must have really, really great, great body scrub. 
So another thing I always do before going to the beach is painting my toenails. So I'm, I'm terrible about doing my fingernails, but I never forget to do my toenails because I know I'm going to have on those sandals and, you know, be laying out with my feet on full display. So I love to have my toes polished. So I have found a product that is just I don't know, life changing for me because I have no patience. I don't have time to spend, you know, putting my feet up to let my toenails dry for an hour. Um, you know, I usually just want to like slip my shoes on and go out the door. And this product has been so great that I just won't buy any other nail polishes basically anymore. This is called Expressi. It's by the brand Essie. And Expressi is their new line of polishes. I want to say it comes in about 40 different shades. This dries in one minute or less. No joke, it really does dry in one minute. It is fantastic, and I love this color, particularly for summer. This is the shade 20, uh, which of course I can't read because I am blind, but something about chaos. I will link it for you guys below. But this is a great, like bright, summery pink that I love. I also picked up some more neutral shades and a lighter pink as well. Like I said, I wanna say they have between 30 and 40 different shades. These are fantastic. And if you're going to hit the beach, might as well, you know, polish up your toes, make them look pretty for those sandals. And if you don't have a lot of time or you're just really impatient like I am, Expressi is definitely the best polish to use. The next product that I wanted to share with you is one that's really going to help protect your hair from the sun, from the salt water, um, and just from all of those like sand and weather elements that your hair is really going to be just challenged with. And this is a product that I had actually come across. Um, there was an article with um, a bunch of female surfers and they were talking about some of the best hair products, their favorite ones that they use to really help protect their skin when they are having to, you know, deal with all of those beach water elements. And so this one is a product called It's a 10. So it has great great things and it's it actually adds shine to your hair it detangles your hair it helps to control frizz it, it protects your hair from the element it also helps to stop breakage and adds silkiness to your hair so you can also use this um, you know before your flat ironing or um, you know curling your hair but really for me I use this product and it's a leave-in conditioner um, just before I go to the beach um, I don't really like leave-in conditioners in my hair just because my hair is curly uh, but I guess you can use it for that so this one is specifically I'm recommending just for the beach and what I normally do is just kind of spritz my hair with a little bit of water so it's soaking in that water and then afterwards I'll spray it with it's a 10 um, so that way when I go into the beach water um, and you know normally you come out and your hair starts to feel like straw you don't have that because you've got some of that leave-in conditioner in there so your hair isn't soaking up all of that salt water and the other great product that you can use oils are wonderful for your hair so I also bring avocado oil when I go to the beach and when I come out of the ocean I'll usually just take a little bit of avocado oil um, and put it into you know like the bottom of of my hair so it leaves my hair feeling very soft very silky um, one of the benefits of avocado oil is that it also stimulates like blood flow and it helps to actually unclog your hair follicles so for me someone who is definitely concerned about you know my hair getting a little bit thinner as I age this is one that can also help to promote hair growth um, and it doesn't leave any of that like greasy feeling in your hair so yeah these are two of the the products that I really love using when I go to the beach just to help protect my hair and keeping it soft and frizz free. So a product that I recently discovered and have just been really impressed by, something I wanted to share with you guys is this Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Face Mist. Now this is not my, you know, regular um, go-to sunscreen that I put on before the beach. Obviously, before putting on, you know, any kind of makeup or um, tinted moisturizer, I go in with a heavier 
um, you know, sunscreen, a lotion. I also do the same thing with my body and, you know, whatever sunscreens that you love. However, this one I found, I almost think of this as like a finishing spray. The same way that you would use a setting spray with your makeup, you can use this like a setting spray. So it has a SPF of 55 and it is water resistant, oil free and invisible finish. So let's say, you know, you are at the beach for a while. Maybe you've got on some tinted moisturizer or even a little bit of like waterproof makeup on your face and you really don't want to go in with more lotion or sunscreen because it's just gonna melt all of that off of your face you go in with this and you just give it a little spritz like you would the makeup setting spray and it literally does the same kind of thing as the setting spray does but with an SPF of 55 so this is great even when you're not at the beach even just something that you might want to have you know in the glove compartment of your car you're out you know that your SPF is not really meant to last you know all day long for eight hours and maybe you're gonna be outside for a while you're worried about your skin protection this is something that you can just spray right on top of your makeup it's not going to cause any greasiness or shininess it's just going to give you that added layer of SPF on top so I find this to be a wonderful product something that I could even use regularly as a makeup setting spray while giving myself that added benefit of the SPF protection so I don't know about you guys but when I'm going to the beach I don't have a face full of makeup but I also don't want to look like I am literally you know just dragging myself from death's door so one of the little tricks that I have obviously is wearing you know the the tinted sunglasses but the other trick that I also have is using a tinted uh, moisturizer so this one is by Clinique this one is um, a little chubby stick so it's kind of like a lip balm moisturizer it definitely has a sheer but slightly tinted look to it this one is in the color um, mango melon but it does come in 14 different colors so it's great for hydrating for moisturizing a lot of times I think that we go out into the Sun and we remember sunscreen for our bodies but we sometimes forget that we also need to you know make sure that our skin on our face is you know really maintaining its moisture especially our lips because when you are having all of that drying it can also cause like a lot of cracking and you'll need to kind of exfoliate your skin with maybe some sugar scrub so a great way to just keep your lips nice and hydrated is by using a little moisturizer lip balm um, and this is literally like my favorite favorite one so yeah this one retails for um, I want to say a little over $18 but definitely worth it 